drink. Been trying to cut down on my cola. Just drank about a half a 1.7 liter bottle there in the last couple of hours. Uh, it's it's going well. It's going well. I'll be really starting that tomorrow. Um, so yeah. I I got a worry there for a moment. Uh, the airlock seal in a tree is weakening. Sorry, the airlock a tree is weakening. So um, it's still over an R nine. So yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not an R nine, but I do worry that's. The because the that airlock breaks. Excuse me. Basically, it's going to start damaging the other doors here, and <sighs> might end up costing me a drone because I'm still holding out for a uh, skin transporter signal in R4. Because I did that other run just previous, I got no benefit out of it. Um, because I forgot to put the gather on the guy. So I'm 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 just trying to minimize my minimize my losses here. Oh, I'm a ble I'm a bleeding idiot. Excuse me. Any time game. Any time. Means nothing. You know what? I'm probably gonna have to restart anyway if this doesn't work, so. Let's see. That's where the enemy is. Transport. Drone tree. R tree. Transport you out. No, actually, the broken ones can't be. All right, I was, I was hoping I could, you know, cheat it like that. So we exit. Saw one ceased functioning. Ah, uh, that. That means that's not broke. We can still put it there. What we, I, what I should have been doing all along was when I cleared out a better ship than what I had, taking it. But I hadn't done that it's like an idiot. So, excuse me. And then because of this, my run ends here. Initiate reset. Detecting local objects. Bringing systems online. Assessing log. And we're here. Hmm. That might, might be a bad, not mightn't be a bad ship. Uh, 
we always seem to start with the Justice, the Justice Rider, and we're at now a medical, a medical sea ship. Interesting. Um, objectives. Objective. Um, ah, 134. I knew there was a date to it. I doubt that they would have just given me the right age ship. So I was just curious. Uh, let us see. Um, Fomato. Hmm. Interesting name. Um, is there somewhere I can see more details about my ship? Uh, help manual. Ship upgrades, no strategy. Commandeering. Um, Don't see it. The gas. Huh. Alright. I'm not really sure. I'm not. Oh, so this point, I'm not lowering the difficulty at all. There's a Halloween skin. Uh, yeah. It's just a tweak I liked. Um, we'll probably see the Halloween skin elsewhere. Uh, various is misspelled there. Radiation is on, vents are on, drones in small rooms are is on. First room blocking. Disabled. Less likely passage through first room will be blocked by environmental objects. Other room blocking. Uh, Sounds drone warning. Easy starting galaxy. Airlock confirmation. Actually, you know what? I'm putting that on. Scrap normal. Breaking upgrades. Sure. Emmy's types reset. If set to reset, harder Emmy types will not be on. Ooh. Basically, when I reset the game. Ooh, that's interesting. Basically, it seems that the like there's a progression of diff, you know, the more difficult enemy types you encounter. It seems when you reset the game, that doesn't necessarily mean you reset the enemy type. Excuse me, uh, the enemy types you encounter. Sorry, I left that thought ha just hanging in, the air, hanging in the air. So say if you manage to make it onto tier 3 enemies. It seems tier 3's enemies can appear on the early ships. Which sounds terrifying. Eh, yeah, sure. I'll leave it on. Uh, soft reset. Basically removes permadeath. Tempting, but no. Abnormal exit revisit. Well, was the, if an abnormal event occurred and wasn't completed, not, and the rest of that is cut off. Annoying. Doesn't even cy you know, cycle true. Uh, yeah, we'll run in background. Annoyingly, there's no way to, for me to know. 
right now the start of this my ship actually there's bit there's no definitive breakdown um thing but there's like bits here and there across the screen like this ship can have 50 scrap it is two upgrade points that kind of thing so when i go into the mottled umber i can fi figure it out there so we have motion, tow, generator, stealth, and gather. That's not half bad. We also have how. Sadly, not 9,000, it's 70 70. Not quite as good. Sure, we'll play one more mission. Begin. Remember the Halloween thing? I uh, see there how he's like a ghost or something. That's can Halloween candy. That's a cute little thing. Oh, Christ. That's annoying. I need to get past here to check this room. Okay. Generator. Tow. Navigate. 3. R1. Navigate 1. R2. Uh, gather. Tow, three, navigates, three, um, R2, one, move down here, motion, D11, okay, we have to go back to what we were doing the, remember the first time, so, navigate one, R3, Sarah is going down to room two. Drone AI leaves something to be uh, desired. D11. Stealth. D14. D14. Hearing something. Okay, gather all. Navigate one R three D fourteen D eleven. Navigate three. D11 Motion That container is being a right bastard They've run out, ran into, you know, something quite as annoying Motion Okay, this room down here is safe D9 Gather. Okay, navigate one R two. Okay, three. Motion. Wish I could interface with that turret. Okay, there's an enemy up there. D8. D8. Once the enemy leaves up there, 
I'm gonna vent them. I think due to that warning, like I actually completely bypassed that warning. Actually, I realized why. It says to if you want to open it, enter the command again. I issued the command twice. Thus, it opened it. I was going for the you know split second open, split second closed, because that's just as effective as keeping it open for ages. Okay, I have to navigate. Um, one three R two semicolon no not R two R one and I have to navigate navigate two R five excuse me. Generator. Navigate three R five. Navigate one R three. I love this kind of game. I don't know why, but this kind of thing just really appeals to me. Oh, you did. You actually managed it. Well done. Uh, navigate three R five. I don't know why, but th just this kind of, you know, you ish command, the, the little bots do do what you tell them to do. I know, it just really does it for me. Motion. D7. D7. If there's an enemy there, we'll filter them across to R4. We still have control over D8, so... I prefer not to have to use stealth to enemies because oh god that is fucking tense giving it a moment, then I'm hitting enter. It will close that door, it will open D13, and navigate 1, tar 6. Go. And I'll watch one to make sure he doesn't just careen into an enemy. You know, like on the slimes or something. Fuck. Got her. Move back. D13. D12. Well, that nearly went terribly. Okay. 1. D13. D13. Stealth. D7. D7. That sound is unnerving. Also, is it just me, or does this ship seem to have no upgrade slots? I could commandeer this ship, or have a greater scrap capacity, but... Excuse me. Um, that'll be it. I wouldn't actually have anything else going for me. Like uh, D12. End. Okay. It'll take a moment to get back, but uh, they should be able to navigate around the blockage. T. 
you failed. Okay, keep moving. It's annoying, I was hoping to take that one, but it kind of seems like it'll be a downgrade, because at least the current one I have has upgrade slots. Now we got John, who is Toe and Pry. Uh, hibernating. Hibernating. Eh, don't care. Uh, I'm gonna call this here, folks. Sincerely hope you've enjoyed the series so far. I. One thing with you know all these indie games that I've been trying lately. I make a promise that I will finish them, but I make no promises that I'll finish them promptly. Like. I don't know why, but I find with a lot of them, they don't hold my focus quite as well as, like, say, I'm playing Witcher. That holds my focus really well. Or, you know, WoW. Or whatever. So I sit down and I focus on them. For some reason with, you know, these indie games, they don't hold my attention quite as well. So I do make a promise that I will finish them, but it'll be a bit-by-bit bit kind of approach. So, um, I hope... You you don't mind that too much. Like, you will get to see it. You will get... Like, it will get done. It just might take a bit. So, yeah. Uh... So, anyway. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll be back soon to record more. But until then, I bid you farewell. If there's anything you want to say, please let me know in the comments below. But until next time, adios.